Hey folks, I'm Brett Kinsella. I'm the founder of voicebot.ai and Synthedia. And today we're gonna to look at the Google search generative experience. I just got early access to the beta. Now, if you wanna try this, you have to sign up for it at Search Labs and you'll actually have to download the Chrome beta browser in order to use it. Uh, but I really just wanna give you a quick look at what it is, what it's all about. And uh, I have a longer video, but this is your quick look. Okay, so we go here and the first thing we'll do is say, okay, we're gonna go to the Google search box. Let's just say, what is Tapas? <clears throat> the first thing you're gonna notice is, hey, you get this generative solution. <clears throat> it's basically taking information from a number of different websites and it's providing you a summary of what Tapas is. Now, it has information over here to the left. These you think of these as your source links, but you might notice that it doesn't actually tell you which item in the response comes from which of these source links. Now, below you have something that you might ex expect. You've got the dictionary response, other people are asking for in terms of search, and then you have your blue links, your traditional search results. Okay, so you can ask a follow-up question. This is supposed to be conversational search, but they're giving you ideas of what other people have asked. And so how are you supposed to eat tapas? Once again, it's going to go out. It's going to look at multiple web pages that talk about this. And it's going to give you some sort of, sort of summary. It's usually in the afternoon or late at night. Okay, so we see the information here. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the most popular tapas restaurant in Barcelona? Okay, so again, we're going to just see how it responds. Is it going to give us a list? Is it going to give us some sort of summary? It's gonna give us a list. Now, look over to the right here. We would have all sorts of Google results that give us the 10 best tapas restaurants in Barcelona, best tapas bars, right? This is what we would expect. This gives us an actual list of, of tapas places. And I'm gonna actually challenge it a little bit. I'm gonna say, um, how do I make a reservation? at the first option. So it actually came up and it gave me the Bodega Baritz, which was the first one. Sometimes this will work, sometimes it won't. I have another longer video where it actually does a really nice job of selecting options two and three and giving you the information. But this is going to take you into more your traditional Google search. Uh, let me ask a different question here. I'm gonna ask, um, how do you make tapas and see what the response is? Okay, so I'm getting some recipes here uh, and I'm getting a video down here. So let's look at the more search re results. Uh, let's check on this video. Okay, that's pretty loud, but what do we have here? So with the travel ban that's on right now. Okay, so we have a video here. Something's very interesting. We are not in YouTube. YouTube is a little uh, icon up here that we can go and watch this on YouTube. It's giving us information about this video, but frankly, we're still in Google search. Uh, so that's another thing that you might find to be very interesting. If you wanna do a new search, uh, if you wanna do something else where you actually have a new type of conversation, you just have to reset it. Google right now has this landing page suggesting different types of things that you can request or ask about, but you can ask about anything. Uh, what is the weather in LA right now? So it just starts a whole new search for you and gives you the weather in LA. So I hope you like that. That is Google search generative experience. If you want to get access to it, go to Google search labs, labs and sign up. You'll get an email and you'll be able to sign up. Uh, is it good? Is it as good as Bing chat? Well, I don't think so. I have another longer video which goes through and compares it to Bing chat to chat GTP with Bing search embedded with Bard. Uh, so you'll be able to see all those side by side. Plus I go much deeper on a Google search generative experience, Google SGE in that. But I just want to give you a really quick way for you to see what it looks like today. All right, hope everyone liked that. Bye-bye.